Well, the weather's really friggin' unpredictable today. Welcome back all you sexy subscribers out there. You can always cut more off, but you can never add more on. <laughs> Made in Canada, eh? Canadian Tire is open because fixing cars is essential. Did you know that? Friggin' rights. Today I'm gonna show you how I mounted a winch plate mount and a small winch on this budget off-road Ford Ranger build for dirt cheap using only one piece of iron no welding super simple and we're gonna gain a whole bunch of ground clearance and approach angle It'd be a whole lot better if there was a face sticking up right here. I could stick the fair lead to it. And uh, yeah. So I found this. And if I didn't know any better, I'd say it's already pre-made, pre-made winch box. It's like a C channel or a U channel or whatever. It's like half an I-beam. So it has a face here, which I used for a mounting face on the other one, on the angle iron. But it also has another one here as well. It's, I think it's a quarter inch thick. I measured it earlier. Eight inches this way. Eight by two and a quarter. Yeah, eight by two and a quarter. So I'm thinking about changing the whole plate, changing the whole tray, and using this. So the one that's on here now, it's uh, three inches tall. So the, I've got it bolted back here on a three inch face. And it, this one is five inches long. And it's almost, almost flush with the front bumper here so that's kind of nice and it's really really solid you could probably jack the truck up with that plate i wouldn't be afraid i wouldn't be afraid to jack the truck up because it's quarter inch thick bolted to the frame this is a side by side or atv winch but if you tried to fit a full-size winch on that plate, it probably wouldn't fit. I think it'll be better. I think it'll be all around better if I use the bigger plate. This is a quarter inch thick, so it's the same thickness, but it has no place to mount the fair lead. It has no face on the front to mount the fair lead. This is just a tiny winch for now, but um, it'd be nice to have something there. I think a bigger slab would be better for a bigger winch later on. Okay, I cut the cut the ends off. I measured it to 24 inches, 24 inches long, which is the same as this. It's got a back and a front, so it'll be better to mount the fair lead to. I'm just going to do it. Screw it. Just do it. Buddy doing yoga on the yoga mat. <laughs> you doing yoga on the yoga mat? Okay, I got the new winch plate on there. 
It's only got two bolts in it right now. That's it. And with two bolts, it seems really strong and it's only got two bolts in it. So my plan is to put maybe eight bolts in it because there's one, two here, two over there, four across the top, and the two on the bottom where the tow hooks go. I plan on doing an attachment point there as well. So I might put eight bolts in it. This front face here is gonna be really helpful as well as the deeper plate. That's both gonna be beneficial or helpful. So it'll be really easy to mount a fair lead on there. I've got a bigger one, but it's way bigger than this. So I'm not too sure yet. So the big boy winch fits on there and even with only two bolts, it's still only got two bolts in it. It seems really sturdy. That winch is really heavy. It's like an 80 pound, I don't know. It probably weighs 75, 80 pounds that winch. It feels like 100 pounds when I pick it up. The thing is so heavy. But it doesn't seem to affect the front end too much it's, or the ride height on the front end. So I don't plan on using anything this big, but it's good to know that it'll, it will fit. Well, I took the plate off and drilled some holes in it. If I drill some holes here, that's four and a half by 10. So there's a bigger bolt pattern uh, for, the, for the big winch as well and i drilled the holes for the small atv winch i'll have to cut a notch out here for the line to come through okay i cut a cut a notch in there which works with the smaller fair lead but i think i'm okay with that for now it's upgradable i think So if I want to put a bigger one on later, then maybe I'll cut it out bigger later. You can always cut more off, but you can never add more on. <laughs> it's gonna go something like that. That won't fit through there, I have to take that pin out, but any who. I really like this because it's simple and it's pretty strong. It's quite strong. It's quarter inch thick at the thinnest, at the thinnest spot. And it's even thicker than that on the edges and corners. And it just bolts on. You don't have to cut the frame or modify the frame or drill the frame. And it'll accommodate, I think it'll accommodate eight bolts when I'm finished with it. So I'm probably gonna take it off and paint it. But it'll be upgradable. So if I wanna put the big one on later, the big one will fit on there. Maybe we'll find a way to put these lights on. But I'm gonna put some tow hooks on it. I'm gonna put some lights on it. I'm gonna paint it. And maybe, maybe someday it'll get the big boy winch on there, perhaps. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh yeah. So I made this mark here with the uh, chalk chalk marker. Chalk marker is pretty handy. It comes off a lot easier than the yellow paint marker does. So 
I'm not sure about this, but that's why I use the chalk marker because it'll wash off if I'm indecisive as usual. I'm not 100% sure about these, but I figured they make a cool bull bar if I put uh, put like a pipe across or maybe use those as for like light bar mounts. Right now it looks like a walrus with walrus tusks. <laughs> but I don't know. They seem to they seem to fit and they seem to work. I'm such an indecisive indecisive creator. I find it hard to decide what I want to do. Deadliner and industrial strength coating. I think that's made in Canada, eh? Seals out moisture and corrosion. Abrasive resistant. Great anti-skid coating can be used for touch-ups in liquid bed liners. Okay then. So I think this is what I'm gonna put on, put this on the winch plate mount and the bull bars. Okay, I went over this with the wire wheel on angle grinder and uh, I scraped it with a scraper and wire brush. And uh, I hit it with the brake parts cleaner and a rag. I already wiped it down a couple times, but there was a lot of dirt coming off on the rags. And I'll try to wipe it up quickly because this stuff evaporates quickly. But you can still see there's still stuff coming off. So I'll go over it once more. And then I'll get ready to spray it. I'm going to spray it with bed liner. The directions on the bed liner says if there's any bare metal to prime it, use primer. So I might have to primer first. I don't really want to use a lot of primer, so I'll try not to use too much. I just want to get it as clean as possible. Preparation is everything when it comes to paint. I don't do a lot of painting things, but try to prepare it as good as possible so you have the best results. I've got this apparatus hanging up here and I think that's the best way to paint both sides of something is to hang it up. There's some black flies out today. Hopefully, hopefully the black flies will stay out of the paint. So I'm going to do a little bit of primer, primer sealer. I don't really want to use a lot of primer, but there's some bare metal and the directions on the bed liner says Prime it first, bare metal. So here we go, I guess. Shake it up again. I tried to set it out in the sunlight, but it didn't get very warm. That stuff's heavy. Okay, I set up a downdraft fan. So there's a fan uh, blowing air this way and that'll evacuate some of the overspray and the fumes and it should help dry, should help dry the paint faster as well. I put one coat of primer on there 
I'm gonna let that dry for 10 minutes as per the directions and then I'll go ahead and put the bed liner on. I might be able to add some texture later. It might be okay just like that. That's only one coat. So I'll let it dry and then I'll apply a second coat. Lovely weather we're having today. What the frig is this? We're in May now. We're in May. Had the classic car out a couple times already this year. And now it's a friggin' blizzard. What the frig? Okay, I'm continuing Operation Bigger Winch Plate on Project Power Ranger. So that's, that's looking good, got it painted. This one will accommodate the bigger winch as well. I'll probably end up turning the bolts around, flipping those bolts around, and I'm gonna paint the frame also. I'm gonna shoot some rust paint on the rad support and I'll come in behind with some uh, rust proofing and I'll spray some rust proofing in behind. So yeah, I'm just gonna pretty it up a little bit. This is just a budget off-road project. So it's not gonna be anything super fancy, but oh yeah, listen to that. Rings like a bell, solid as a rock. A little bit cold and damp today, so I'm not gonna paint anything, but I'm super anxious to mock it up and see what it looks like. And maybe, maybe work on the skid plate, possibly. So I'm gonna have to remove that plastic, that plastic there that hangs under the rad, which I don't know. There seems to be two bolts on each side and that does hang down quite a bit. So removing it will make even more ground clearance. Maybe I'll measure. This is 16 inches here. That red mark is 16 inches. So that's the ground clearance before you hit that plastic. The frame rail is 22. 22 inches to the bottom of the frame rail here. Maybe a little bit more than 22. There's a bump here on the ground. 22 and a half. The winch plate is 24 and a half. About, about 24 inches. Got a solid two feet there. I'm gonna remove this and see if we gain, I guess we'll gain a couple of inches. These are 13 millimeter. I might use those bolts to hold the skid plate if I do a skid plate mount there. Yeah, there's a plastic push pin. It's pretty handy. Okay, so we had 16 inches before. Now we got 18 and three quarters, almost 19 inches there now. And if I do a skid plate, I can uh, keep the skid plate tucked up as much as possible, but I'll probably mount it in the same location here. Probably build a bracket just like that, like a 90 degree angle iron 
bracket or something. Same as the factory one here. Power Ranger. I don't know the Power Ranger theme song, but I bet yeah, it's something like that. I wrote that song. You're welcome. Power Ranger. It's easy to write a song nowadays. All you do is repeat the same thing over and over and over. That's all they do nowadays. Power Ranger, yeah, Power Ranger. Pow Pow Ranger. You're welcome, I wrote that song, you're welcome. I know I said I was gonna take it apart, but I decided to make some marks here and get ready to mount those lights. So the only bad thing on the reviews that I could find was the brackets. These seem okay. I'm gonna try them for now. But even if I don't use the brackets, it seems like if I line up the angle, the angles will be okay. So I'll try it with the bracket first. Made some marks here and then I used the black marker and then I decided that I wanted to go over here. Sharpie, silver, silver metallic. Very cool, very cool. Well, there she is. There's a little bit of adjustability there. I can definitely turn, turn it if I want to shine light outwards. Well, the weather's really friggin' unpredictable today. But took the whole thing off all in one piece. That's pretty cool. Aside from the winch. I was gonna paint, I was going to paint the frame rails. I cleaned them up some and uh, yeah, started cleaning the degreasing but Mother Nature is just like, nope. Nope, you're not painting today. Freak's sakes. There it is with the grill. Put the grill back on it just to see what she looks like. Might be a good test for the cheap Amazon lights. Had a good little rain today. So far, so good. <laughs> 